Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning into your May reading with me Lorian. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you these readings every month and every week when I can manage it. <laughs> so I'm just going to start shuffling out. We're going to be using the Tarot Mucha and it's printed by Los Garabeo. If you want to know the artist, um, let me see. Artwork by Julia F. Massaglia and Barbara Nascenzo. And that seems to be what's coming up here for you anyway. All right, so let's have a look and see. Now this is just gonna be a general reading for all you Aries. Hello, whoa, come on. Now I think that one was for you. So I'll see what that is in a second. Um, but this is a general reading for your sun, moon, rising. If it is that you want to have a full picture, go to the other videos that make up your astrological chart. But I would also say if you want a private personal reading, I am available for those. Um, it's best to book through my website though, and you can actually see all the list of things from spirit guide readings all the way to tarot readings, which are available there. Or just send me an email. And if you want to see the additional readings that are not on YouTube, all you have to do is go to my Patreon page, which is down below, and support me there, and you can get access to all the extra additional free readings. So a few of you have already said how much you like the monthly and the crystal readings, the rune readings and crystal readings. So thank you so much. So let's see what comes through for Aries. Okay, so you two clearly wanted to come through and you sent all the other cards out at the same time, which is very rude of you. You should stay there and not do that. All right, so. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm just gonna put this one down. Hey, there we go. So I will, of course, pull a rune again in a second. But let's just take a look. Okay. Hmm. Actually. They're telling me to burn the rest of my bay leaf, so I'm just going to burn the rest of my bay leaf. So I can get more of that lovely bay leaf scent. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so you have the Six of Cups, you have the Devil card. You have the um, King of Swords and you also have the Two of Cups. Now for me, this indicates that the beginning of May may be a little bit tumultuous. Um, I think there's a bit of nostalgia here and you could be kind of thinking about how things used to be, people you've left behind, um, things and situations that you may have realised you wouldn't have missed until now. Just that kind of feeling of a bit like... Remember the good old days? Remember how it used to be here? Remember the routine I used to have? It could even be from when you were very young and that sort of thing. Um, it may even be you missing an old relationship or looking back to see what is from or what you missed by an old relationship. Um, but I also feel that there's something connecting here that, you know, you could get too obsessed with looking backwards they don't want you to get too obsessed with looking backwards also the little they're just saying the little devil of jealousy could come through here as well and they're saying not to feed it don't feel the devil of jealousy don't feed that thing because it's too um, encompassing for Aries sometimes because you do have a Mars position in your chart very um, controlled by Mars as are Scorpios so if you get that little scent of jealousy that could result in feeling and comparing maybe previous situations to the one now or the one somebody else has I think that could be a little bit too destructive for you and, uh, you know, it's not saying that, oh, yeah, it's definitely going to happen that way. I just feel that, you know, you need to take the foot off the gas in that way and just kind of go, no, 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 it's nothing personal. It's just something that I need to go from there. Um, and this, I will get to them individually, but this seems to be either an Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini. Um, very strong, very influential, especially with this at the end. So I just feel that this is kind of coming to fruition now. There's something that's heating up for sure. But anyway, let me have a look. <laughs> so 
and this again six of cups is a very good card it's all about childhood as well and your previous experiences that may be actually informing you of how to react to certain situations that you're facing now um things that you're trying to do now things that you're interested in doing now things that you want to see happen that kind of stuff um and they are being very encouraging with this card they are saying you have the information and the wisdom within you you don't have to be too worried about it interestingly enough for me let's just have a look it's almost like these two down here represent you and this represents somebody that you feel is maybe out of your league slightly or something that's out of your league now i'd never say this is definitely love definitely romance you know career but i do feel this is you and you may be feeling like you're putting something on a pedestal like a dream on a pedestal please do not do that you can achieve that you can be there you can be there and reach that point that's what they're really saying you have the wisdom within you from the past you need to learn how to get that through now this you know the devil isn't always something bad and to me it can go both ways it can be jealousy it can be kind of feeding that thing but also it can be a little bit of carnal desire and being too embroiled in kind of attraction and the kind of sexuality and exploring that side of you or temper or just that kind of instinct that Aries normally have it can be impulse it can be not being able to control the impulse I want so I will have the kind of basic survival thing more likely than not it is something about your sexuality that's coming through here but I just feel that could be applied to various different things so that's something that's coming in here I would say again to just monitor yourself make sure that you're not kind of looking in too deep to things I mean the first week of May we're still kind of in the broils of mercury retrograde so they don't really want you to say something that you'll later regret especially when it comes to this person now this could be somebody at your work or it could be somebody in your family or just kind of somebody of an authority figure because sometimes this is somebody literally as a policeman or somebody like that but i just feel that they could be a bit snappy sometimes a bit sulky and maybe a little bit um passive aggressive and I also feel that if this is somebody who is in your life as a good person, there's a transformative energy here. So it's either this person's a bit kind of snappy because of this or because of something pressure around you. But I actually feel this is somebody more who represents a kind of a control thing kind of maybe you trying to control too much after you try and rein it back and you're kind of not sure where you're going with it i feel as well that this is somebody who could really help you get through that and who's somebody you can trust despite everything but if it is a boss or somebody that you take like oh hang on you're being a bit snappy there is a real there is a reason beneath that i also feel that if they are a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, somebody that you have to work something through with them, communicate with them. Because I do see that you do get, you know, really nice company here. Two of Cups is harmony. Two of Cups is all about having the connection with somebody. This indicates healing to me. So there's something between you that needs to heal maybe from the past here um, before you can truly get to the next stage. So it could be both of you healing through each other before you can move on and before you can actually see the next stages of each other um but it's all about cooperation being open with each other and basically not really filtering anything through your mouth <laughs> don't second guess yourself don't go too much in your head don't get too much sidetracked by anything else this is something that you need to get off your chest to somebody and i think they'll help you i also feel this is kind of marrying up your masculine feminine and within you the kind of yin and, ooh, the yin and yang in your psyche as well so it's just kind of neither is dominant you have to be very balanced and this could also be saying you need to be balanced what's up with you you're up and down you're up and down you focus too much on something physical could even be focusing on too much exercise too much diet too much um just over overindulgence it could even be too much chocolate you know overindulgence of something that's connected to social things it could be that i feel pressure to 
buy the latest trainers. I feel pressure to look a certain way. So just make sure that you're taking care of that. So let's see what these runes have to say. Now I do choose these with my eyes closed, so I apologise if they fly out. But let's see, what does Aries need to know? You're the, whoop, you're the first one I grabbed and then you fell out of my hand. Alright. Oh, good rune, Algis. So this is protection. This is a shield. This is kind of warding off kind of evil that may be against you kind of protecting yourself against maybe this always shows me that there's something that's kind of maybe pushing against you mentally so it's just kind of saying don't allow things to prey on your mind too much don't allow nostalgia or worry about things to overcompensate um where positivity should be where body positivity should be um looking at things in a new light as well i would also say it's very similar to me to the symbol of Pluto and it's kind of like stretching its arms up high so this does seem to be more mental to me and I would also say that it's something to do Pluto is obviously also a ruler of Scorpio um, as well as Mars which is the ruler of Aries so I would say that this is something like Pluto ruling your eighth house of taboo and subjects that maybe you don't like talking about I think that that's actually going retrograde so that could be something that you need to look into I don't have my book with me of astrology but it is going retrograde at some point and I do feel like this is going to be kind of a long transition it's going to be something that you have to go deep within yourself to figure something out and this is actually going to be very transformative for you so look out for that but also make sure that you protect yourself shield yourself from negativity especially when it comes to your own mind because everyone knows sometimes we are our own worst enemy but this isn't a bad month this just seems to say that you're kind of just advice really it's just kind of saying don't let things get too heavy because you're in Taurus where Aries is very like let's go and get them Taurus is like no slow down let's get stuck into it let's you know and you could feel very rigid and kind of pulled in by that and you may you want to just kind of run off and do other stuff so just try and kind of take things a step at a time make sure that you protect yourself um, but let me know how it goes, you know, have you got anything planned in May? Is there something that you feel like you need to get off your chest with somebody? Like communicate with somebody here, heal with somebody? Um, let me know, I always love hearing from you in the comments. Um, but also, if you do want a reading from me, I'm always available just for an email if you like. But we'll get you booked in for a reading with myself. Click on the link below. And also if you want the additional readings, click on Patreon and I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, but in the meantime, I wish you all the very best. Take care of yourself and I look forward to reading for you in June.